Welcome back everybody. Again, it's Travis Poland coming at you with a neighborhood tour on my motorcycle. My motorcycle is down in the parking lot. Today I'm going to be showing you around my home area in Littleton, Colorado. Um, we're going to be, I'm currently standing in Clement Park, which is right up the street from Columbine High School. Uh, Clement Park is basically centered around a lake. There is a park for kids that you can see right behind me. There are four amazing baseball diamonds. There's batting cages. There are a ton of soccer, football, lacrosse fields right at the bottom here, right on the other side of the parking lot. Another beautiful thing about this area, you have the Jefferson County Library. On the other side of the lake, you have a bunch of cafes and restaurants and stores. I'm gonna be showing you where Target is and we're gonna be passing a King Supers. I'm gonna take you up through King Carroll Valley, down and around into Deer Creek Canyon, and that's where we will end this video. So I just wanted to give you a, a nice neighborhood tour on my motorcycle today. It is September 30th, a beautiful Colorado day. We have leaves changing, and stick around to the end so that you can see the beautiful rock formation in Deer Creek Canyon. All right, so here's what we are taking a tour on today. The 2021 Moto Guzzi, the V7. Done. Let's go. All right, so here we go. Perfect, so there's the park. That's the skate park off to the right. Here in the park. So you can see the lake on the left-hand side of Clement Park. The public library is right there on the right. Well, I just noticed I need to stop and get some gas. There's gonna be a gas station right up here. Nice lady to let me go. So you got an AMC 24 theater, movie theater. The lake house is on the left. It's a really, really good restaurant. A sports grill on the right. There's Vasa Fitness. Then you got cafes. Some stores all in the left-hand side there. Longhorn Steakhouse on the right. First watch. That is a great breakfast place if uh, you're ever in town. Walking bridge. That is your indication that you are at Bowles and Wadsworth. All right, so we are heading westbound on Bowles. Southwest Plaza is going to be up here on my right hand side. You have got a Trader Joe's. Behind that Corvus coffee, there's a Garbanzo's. So Trader Joe's is really popular here. We also have Sprouts, which is a competitor, I would say, to Trader Joe's. All right. Passing Wadsworth. Wadsworth will take you all the way down to Chatfield Reservoir if I would have taken a left there. So here's where you could do all your factory shopping. On the right hand side, that is Southwest Plaza. You got your Macy's, Dillard's, JCPenney's. If JCPenney's is still around. You got some other cafe, and some restaurants, Chinese restaurants, Indian restaurants. 
right here is where you have your target on the right hand side. Get your target shopping done. It does have a grocery store inside of there as well, so it's a super target. Should have gone. That's okay. As you can tell, some of the leaves are starting to change. It is a beautiful day. It's right at 80 degrees. So you got true value here on your left. I'm approaching Kipling. Big O tires on the right. There's a Walgreens. So if you take Kipling to the left, you would be heading south and that's gonna dead end you right into C470. This neighborhood right here on the left is where I grew up. So I know this area really, really well. There's a Harbor Freight, an auto parts store, fitness bar and gym or fitness gym, and there's a bar over there as well. There's a church right here on the left. This right here, this has been here forever. It's Jared's Nursery. They have everything plant related. You can buy your Christmas trees there if you want to. Buy some trees, they have a humongous lot in the back where they have all their trees. It's a really nice facility. These are great neighborhoods on both sides. You are in Jefferson County here, so you would be in the Jefferson County School District. There is a Maverick gas station right here on my right that I'm going to be uh, turning into. So these are all single family homes here on the left and right side of me. There, this is one complex of um, condos right here on the left. The houses in this area range anywhere from 500 to 800,000. You've got some really great schools, elementary schools in the area as we continue down. So this is Sims right here. If you were to take a left here, that is where I went to high school, down to Chatfield High School. Straight ahead of us here is gonna be Dakota Ridge. I'm gonna pop in here and get a thing of gas real quick. So please hold. Jumping back onto Bulls, heading westbound. These are some really nice new townhomes on the right hand side, Dancing Willows. Those are beautiful, that's such a great complex in there. West Bowles Community Church here on the right hand side. What a beautiful building. Storage facility, you got condos there, or uh, I'm sorry, you have hotels there on the right hand side. We're 
going to take a left here on Atkins. If I were to keep going straight to the next stoplight, that is C470. I'm actually just going to jump on, um, I'm sorry, not Atkins, Alkire. Alkire here, there's a Les Schwab there on my right hand side. C470, which takes you to I-70. If I were to take a right, it takes about 15 minutes to get there. Um, three more exits to the right. If I would, if I were heading westbound on C470, I would hit um, Red Rocks, pass through Morrison, and heading northbound, or I'm sorry, northbound, heading south, I would run into C, uh, I-25. So this right here on my right hand side, that is going to be Walmart. That is a, a humongous Walmart store, very popular here. And then I have Dakota Ridge, which is uh, a high school. It was a competing, competitor high school to us Chaffield Charger heirlooms. We played them in all of our sports, all football, basketball, hockey, wrestling. So as you can see, you can see the foothills there on my right hand side. We're going to be jumping into those here in just a moment. I just want to kind of take you guys on a nice tour around what this part of Littleton looks like. I'll show you here on the map exactly where I am. This is a campus right here of Warren Tech, which is a college campus. These are the Dakota Ridge apartments on the right hand side. Those are beautiful. And you got some nice big open space. It's a touch breezy today. So there's definitely a little bit of a little bit of dust flying around in the air. taking a loop. We are currently heading back east. So we basically did a big old U-turn. This over here is a fishing pond that we go to quite a bit. It's called Hind Lake. There's a really nice park. There's tennis courts, pickleball courts, all that stuff on the left hand side. They do such a good job at maintaining that area over there. Shadow Ridge is here on the right hand side of me. It's a covenant community. Really nice homes in there. It's not a very big neighborhood at all, but it's cozy. So Powderhorn Elementary School, and then you have Summit Ridge Middle School. These are two feeder schools that leads into uh, Dakota Ridge. So I'm not trying to get too confusing, but that neighborhood straight ahead of us on the other side of this stoplight is the neighborhood that I grew up in. It leads right down to Kipling. So this is Sims. I am turning south onto Sims. This is the road that I took every single day into high school. This is still Shadow Ridge on the right hand side. These homes go anywhere from 600 up to 900. There are some really beautiful homes in this neighborhood. So Foothills Rec Center, which is the ridge, they have a beautiful, it's back there on the on the top. They have a beautiful swimming pool. They have two ice skating rinks. This on my left is called Eagle View. This is a beautiful neighborhood. It is uh, full of patio homes. This on my right hand side is Meadows Golf Course. It actually goes from this side. There's a tunnel, tunnel underneath and that's the back nine on that side. Heading up the hill here. Right at the top of the hill is uh, going to be my high school, Chatfield High School. Here's Heritage Church. This 
is my old campus, senior high. It is full, obviously, today because it is Monday, September 20th. Really great neighborhood right across the street here. Woodburn. Look how beautiful this is. Kids here do have off-campus lunches. For, um, I believe everybody still gets it. Freshman all the way up to senior. You can go off campus for lunch. We have a bunch of different fast food joints here on the left and right. On the right hand side, that's a Mexican restaurant. And then you have King Supers, which is another one of our major grocery stores. You have another Walgreens. So King Supers is right inside of this parking lot. There's a car wash. They're just getting ready to develop on top of this hill right here. So now I am on Ken Carroll heading directly west. This is what's going to take us into Ken Carroll Valley. We got some really nice condos here on the right hand side. I have sold quite a few of those to some proud homeowners lately. You have McDonald's, Ch Chipotle, there is a Safeway that is an another one of our major grocery stores that you're going to go to, especially if you live up here in Ken Carroll Valley. So this is the RTD bus stop. This is the Ken Carroll and C470 stop that you can see. Got your gas stations, there's a Sonic. This homegrown tap room, if you guys are ever in town, make sure to go to homegrown. The place is really good. Okinawa Sushi, and then you have a pho restaurant. Lariat Lodge is really, really good. That is also a brewery. So right here, we are going underneath C470. Alright, Ken Carroll Ranch. Heading into the valley of Ken Carroll. Look at this beautiful little canyon you get to go through. The trees on the left, you can see they're starting to change. We've got a lot of shrub oak in the area. There's a little creek that runs down in the bottom of there. There is lots of game, meaning deer, elk, sometimes turkey, but definitely coyotes and foxes in the area. So I am in the valley. I am completely surrounded, 360 degrees of mountains. The houses in this neighborhood range anywhere from 600,000 all the way up to $2 million. I'll show you some of those. It's gonna be your rec center on the left-hand side there. I meant to point that out earlier. They have tennis courts and a really nice pool. But as you can see, you can start to see some of the outcroppings of the beautiful red rocks that we have here spread out through Colorado. Could you imagine taking this drive every day, coming home to work, to and from work? It's a gorgeous neighborhood. On the left-hand side here, this is where the horse stables are. So you could board your horses. They've got a nice training facility here. So you don't have to own a horse. You can lease a horse. They have lots of things to do here for people of all ages, really. So if we were to take a right, here, that's where you're going to find the 1 million plus homes. The homes here off to the left are just def definitely a little bit more modest. If I were to take a right at this stop sign, it'll take you all the way up to the manor house. I might as well just, it's a little two minute drive up there. So stick with me. Let's take a ride. There's not a stop sign here. This guy's just taking his time. Okay. 
gonna show you around. Oh, they got the gate closed. I won't be able to get in. But I sure as heck will drive in the front. There you go, some little rock outcroppings here. You can see the manor house up there. They have lots of events up there. That's a great place to have a wedding, father and daughter dances. Look at these beautiful homes here. Aren't these gorgeous? So since we can't get in, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bit of a, a turn around here. I'd love to show you some more houses, but I really just want to give you an idea of what the feel of this neighborhood's like, what the lifestyle is like. You got walking trails, you got trail, here's a little trailhead that you can take and it takes you all the way up. And there's a trail that takes you all the way back down to the entrance. And then you can hop back over and I'll show you kind of where it leads to. Once we get done, this is just a big loop that I'm gonna take you on. So we just turned from there and headed up. So now we're continuing on basically Ken Carroll to the right. They do have their own elementary school inside of Ken Carroll Valley here. Look at these beautiful trees. Oh my gosh, this is such a dream. the elementary school. Up there, enjoying recess. So there are many different pockets of this neighborhood. If we were to head up in here, those are gonna be million dollar homes. These ones on the left are gonna be anywhere from Seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars. Look at that beautiful space up there. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous 365 days a year because when there's snow on the ground up here, it just seems so magical. So here's one of the parks that they have here. It's really just kind of a, it's a trail that goes down to a park. You just park in that parking lot. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. We're 24 minutes into this ride. Look at how gorgeous that is. Right here in the front range. Oh, it's amazing best part of it you're what five six minutes to your grocery store if you need to make it to target you're about 15 minutes to get to target manor ridge is a gated community here in the valley those houses up there also are a million dollars plus gorgeous ride okay so to get to the entrance uh, of it this is a beautiful road that heads to the left but I do want to show you that uh, the bits of Deer Creek Canyon so we're just going to be taking a right you got Lockheed Martin up at the top of the hill there here is the, the South Valley Park is what they call it 
So this is right out of your neighborhood. You can come down here. This is a really nice trailhead. And this walk, uh, I believe it's two miles each way if you wanted to do the whole entire loop. But you got Duck Lake right here on the left-hand side. This is where you get to see a lot of game. So if you have a nice car, motorcycle, bicycle, like to just kind of get out, get some fresh air, see what I mean right here, Ferrari, or I'm sorry, Lamborghini just passed me. Look how gorgeous these red rock outcroppings are and you get to go hike through there. The trails lead you in between those rocks and it is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this ride. Isn't this so fun? This isn't even the best part. Lockheed Martin, if I were to take a turn to the right. Er, I'm gonna take a left down to Deer Creek Canyon because they'll kick me out of there. I do not have any kind of security clearance. Look at these beautiful rocks. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. All right. So this is Deer Creek Canyon right here. This is where there's a lot of people that live up here. Most of the lots are gonna have at least an acre or two. But I just wanna take you on a little bit of a trip up Deer Creek Canyon. There are lots and lots of cyclists that go up and down this every single day, especially in the summertime. Wintertime, it gets a little sketchy because they do salt it and sand. So it can get a little bit hairy around some of these turns. But I can't tell, I don't know if you can tell, but we are heading upward. Heading up the mountains. This is the Deer Creek Canyon that you could just come in here, have some fun in your car. Doesn't matter what kind of car you have, just a nice little afternoon cruise. We can just head up. A lot of people on motorcycles. There's actually a guy behind me here. I'm just up here putzing. how gorgeous this is. I'm just gonna go a little bit further. up and down these roads many, many, many times. I could almost do this with my eyes closed. Look at how gorgeous this road is. It's so fun. Beautiful trees, the grass, the rock outcroppings. I'm really giving you guys a show here. I'm 
just about to scrape my pegs here on the bike today. I'm trying not to get there because I hate doing that. And I don't have my riding shoes on. I just have some tennis shoes on. Just a touch further. Oh, this is just so much fun. There is a left hand turn right up here that I'm gonna take. Ooh, yeah. Get you some juice. Love grabbing that throttle in these turns. take a left right here right where this Subaru is going I'm gonna give me a nice turn around I'm not gonna turn around in this main road here we go all right that was gorgeous all right let's head back down and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the video Burn. lost dog all right, and we're still in Littleton. This is still 80127 zip code right here. I probably should have went in front of that guy, but I'll take it easy. Ooh, it looks like he's doing some building on something. He's got his camera set up. Microphone. All right, let's head back down. So getting back down to the bottom, this is where we came from. That is the Valley Roadway there. Lockheed Martin at the top of the hill. Where I showed you that lake, it actually ends up right down here. This is another one of the entrances and then it makes a loop. So you could start at either end of the trail if you'd want to. It does go for quite a ways. Look at these beautiful mountains that you get to drive down through. I'm heading towards Wadsworth. I'll show you. That's probably where we are going to end our video, is right at the end of this. Where it dead ends into Wadsworth. I'll show you here. Getting back at, down into the bottom, almost out of the valley. Is another one of the trailheads that leads to the same trail just on the other side of the ridge look at these beautiful trees If 
I were to go up that way, that would take me right up to Kipling. I really want to show you the bottom of this area. This is where the Denver Botanical Gardens are. And at the end of it, it basically dead ends into Chatfield Reservoir. Beautiful rolling hills. You got a great view. There is a really nice trailhead down here where that white barn is. Hill to Brand Ranch. It takes you all around that neighborhood over there. It is a five mile loop. Some good elevation changes. There's a lot of people that run that to train for various races, foot races. This right down here where all these trees are, this is the Denver Botanical Gardens. They decorate it for seasonal purposes. You could walk through there at any point in time and look at all the plants and beautiful trees. There's a creek that runs down through the middle of it. They'll decorate all of those trees with Christmas lights. I just see they're building a structure there. I've never seen that before. They must have just started that maybe a few weeks ago. Right here off to the right, that's C-470. So C-470 makes a turn and we're at the very end of that turn because here is where it's Here's where it starts heading directly east. That's going to take you right into I-25. So I'm going to stop right up here, parallel parking only. I am going to stop here and end the video. This is where you can park get your bike ready to go on that amazing Deer Creek Canyon ride. There is Chaffield Reservoir. Roxborough State Park is right over there. Here's the Denver Botanical Gardens here at Chatfield Farms, whatever. And this is Wadsworth. Well, that ride was an absolute blast. My bike and I, we had a wonderful time showing you around. So thank you so much for joining. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to help answer them. And let me know what other neighborhood that you want me to go on a ride through. So I'm gonna jump back on, head home, grab some lunch, and enjoy this beautiful fall day. September 30th, can you believe it? Oh my gosh, where did the year go? So, all right, we'll, we'll see you later, thanks.